So basically that's what it means. So it is used in everywhere. Simple 2D programs, uh, 3D programs and you know, anywhere, everywhere. Okay, uh, basically that's it. So, uh, because I run out of time probably, so I make another uh, change. We, we just use more rectangle because obviously in a game you don't have just one rectangle, you have a bunch of rectangles. So, um, instead of, we, I make a SDR rec, a rec array and I pr uh, put four things in there. So, rec array. Uh, the zeros, the zeros element x is equal to I don't know, make it seventy. The uh, the zeros element y is mm, make it uh, zero. Okay. The zeros element uh, dot height is make it uh, two hundred, and the width is make it ten. So recurve zero dot width equals ten. Okay, and I just copy to save time. Okay, one, two, three. All right, so this will be the first uh, first element, and change the location to x uh, five hundred, y is sixty, uh, height is mm, make it uh, ten, and width make it uh, one hundred and forty. Okay, the second element. So actually, this is the third uh, element. We make it uh, x equal to. Hmm, 300 and the height uh, y is equal to 60 and the height is uh, the height and the width is remains okay and uh, the last element so this is the third element location will be uh, hmm, 10x uh, 300y uh, 10 height and uh, 40 140 width okay so we have an array of rectangles now we draw it. So instead of draw this one rectangle right here, we use a for loop to draw all of the rectangles. So for int i equals 0, i less than 4, i plus plus. Okay, and we just fill this rectangle. Okay, the only change in here then we uh, don't put the rect2 uh, address, we use the rect array uh, i elements address. So we just draw uh, all of the elements of the rectangle. And the other change in here, then we use a for loop right here. Uh, so we go through all of the elements and we check if there is a collision. So we use a for loop. So for int i equals zero, i less than uh, four i plus plus, and uh, the other things i remain. So the only thing that we have to put this line in here. So we we just check if there is a collision in any in among any element, and if so, then we just move back. Basically, that's what uh, I do here. So. Now we can start the program. Okay, rect array not defined in the line 60, so I probably rec array, not rect array. Okay, and I uh, have one thi more thing that we have is that we don't put the rec to, we, that, uh, we press the rec array i address always, so I always almost forget it. So, rec array i, as you can see. Okay, and uh, I just copy it so we can save time. Copy copy and copy okay basically we can run the program now and as you can see we have uh, more a uh, rectangle but as you can see I cannot go inside none of them so not matter how hard I press the key I cannot go in okay the, in here there is another rectangle and I cannot go in but something wrong happened so okay and I cannot go inside other rectangle as well so for example this is like a wall if you ju if you just replace this rectangle with an image, then it is quite good actually. So I any game uses this. Almost every game uses this technique. So I cannot go inside these squares. Okay. So basically that's what this tutorial about. So the simple collision detection. There are other collision detection methods like uh, like uh, circle. In case of circle, you have to know the Pythagoras uh, theorem for that and a little logic and you will find out how you can uh, examine collision uh, between two circles and there is a collision uh, detection to circle to uh, square 
that's a little more complicated although not too much and uh, you know there are a lot of type of collision detection this is the simplest and actually the most used a lot of game uses this even big games uh, and 3d games uses this technique obviously they don't use just one rectangle they use multiple rectangles uh, actually in boxes because modern games are 3d so they use multiple uh, 3d boxes around the object for example in case of head in the body in the leg in the arm and so on so yeah that's it and uh, yeah that was it thank you for watching and have a great